Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. Welcome to our channel. After two solid months of doing nothing but working on this place, we are finally done. It is finally on the market. And this video is going to be our five favoritest. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm using. <laughs> five favoritest things about this house. Uh, we've lived here for 15 years. We've very much enjoyed the house. Uh, the new freshness of it now is awesome. It's kind of like the day we moved in 15 years ago. Ooh, I, I honestly didn't think I would be getting this emotional over saying goodbye to this house. But, I mean, I raised my kids here. We have so many memories here. But it's such a different place. I look around, I don't see my house anymore. It definitely has a different look, but it's got the same footprint. <laughs> we didn't really add. Colors changed. Uh, yeah, colors changed. It's definitely not my house. But this video is our favorite, five favoritest things. <laughs> our five favorite things about this house. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching all of these videos over the last few months. Especially you, Greg and Becca. Thank you. Hi. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. One of my favorite things about living here has always been this backyard. When these trees are full of leaves in the summer, you can't even tell there's neighbors over there. With the pond and all the habitat that comes through for the pond, it's just beautiful back here. Peaceful and sleeping at night is amazing, listening to the frogs and the crickets. Location, location, location. One of my favorite places about this house. We have a convenience store just down the street there. Menards is all the way behind this fence. And then we have a grocery store on the other side of Menards. We also have Aldi and Goodwill and a handful of other shops well within walking distance. One of the best things we ever did when we built this house was add two feet to the back. It allowed us to changed the bathroom floor plan in a way that worked for us. When we built the house, the original floor plan called for the toilet to be here, right in the doorway, so that when you open the door, if you're somebody sitting on the toilet, you're right there, which I thought was ridiculous. It also allowed us to get rid of the standard tub, shower, all one piece combo and the separate linen closet that we had, which we really didn't need because we have a huge closet out in the hallway. We replaced it all with a six foot soaking tub, best thing ever, and a four foot stand up shower. And it allowed us to put the toilet over here as well, so you really actually have a little bit of privacy. This is the view from the master bathroom window. This was always my favorite view of the house. You can see the pond back there. Those trees right there at the base of the hill are about 150 feet from the street. They're also about 150 feet from the back of the property line. The back third of the lot is really just untouched wilderness. The middle third is mowed once a year and the front third is grass. Welcome to my favorite room of the house. I built this platform here which allows us to have a deep freeze right outside the door because the fridge and freezer inside wasn't big enough, I guess. When we built this house, we added four feet to the depth of the garage. That allowed us to have like the freezer, the workbench, all this up here and still park the minivan in here, walk along the front of the minivan and walk behind the minivan. This side of the garage, this side of the garage was my work shop. It, I've had it set up as a woodworking shop almost since the beginning. It's really worked well. When I quit wrenching and became a teacher, it allowed me to bring my toolbox home and have plenty of place for all of my automotive tools also. It's, this is by far my favorite room in the house. It's also heated. We live in Minnesota. It gets cold here. Having a wood stove was very handy. It allowed me to burn all my offcuts from the wood shop and keep it nice and toasty warm in here all winter long. One of my favorite places in this house is this whole back of the house. I spent a lot of time in this house as a stay-at-home mom with the kids, and most of my time was spent here in the family room and the kitchen. 
I really like the big open space because it allows you to have family gatherings and people working in the kitchen, people sitting at the table, people sitting on the couches, and not run into each other and walk over each other and you're still in the same room and can talk. And One of the things they wanted us to do when we added the two feet onto the back of the house was add two more feet of cabinet space. And I didn't think we needed two more feet of cabinet space. I know Andy didn't think we needed two more feet of cabinet space. So what we did instead was put this in. A uh, full-size fridge and the full-size freezer. And I gotta say it was one of the best things that we ever did because it has been so handy. This obviously is a new version. The, the ones that we had were white and not stainless steel like the rest of the kitchen. But I think it made a whole lot more sense to have the bigger fridge and freezer than more cabinet space because with our laundry room so close, we did not need more cabinet space. Andy's parents remodeled their kitchen. It was a 1950s Rambler and they gave us their cabinets. So we took out a closet that had bifold doors and put the cabinets in here. And I think it was a much better option, much, much better option. It keeps all the food in here and allows all the cabinets in the kitchen to just be for dishes and pots and pans and cookbooks and all that fun stuff. And you still have the laundry and the laundry tub and all this right here, right off the kitchen, super handy. This whole back of the house, I think, is my favorite part.